Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back. One of my greatest joys in life is recommending books to you and to people in general and that's why I love having a YouTube channel where I recommend books to people, it's just the best. And I used to work at a bookstore and I loved recommending books to people and I was thinking today, or the other day, what if I met some of my favorite fictional characters or some of the most iconic characters in literature? What if I met them and they asked me for a book recommendation? What books would I recommend to iconic fictional characters? So, I've compiled a list of fictional characters and the books that I would recommend them. I think this is kind of fun. Um, I would love to know what books you would recommend to these characters or to any characters. I just gathered, I think, 10 or 11 characters that I felt like would be fun to recommend certain books to, and I will go through those right now. The first character that I'll be recommending a book to is Elizabeth Bennet. <laughs> now, Pride and Prejudice is one of my favorite books. I love Elizabeth Bennet's character. She's sassy and witty and headstrong, but really just such a powerful female character. And a book with many wonderful female characters that I think Elizabeth Bennet would love is Little Women. So Little Women is about four sisters and each sister has their own desires and their own wants and their own personalities and I especially think Lizzie will enjoy the character of Jo March because Jo, like Lizzie herself, is very clever and witty and sassy and headstrong and again is a sister of many sisters and I think that she will just really relate to Joe in a lot of ways and the aspect of women kind of going their own way but also really listening to their hearts and doing what feels right to them. I just really think that Lizzie will see a lot of herself and her sisters in the March sisters. The great thing about the March sisters I think as well is they're so easy to relate to, even though I can't relate to the day-to-day -day lives of the March sisters, their personalities I think are very relatable. And I see myself in different aspects of each sister, and I think Lizzie will as well. On the trend of the March sisters, the next character that I will be recommending a book to is Jo March. So I was just speaking of Jo March from Little Women. The book that I would recommend to her is Big Magic, Creative Living Beyond Fear by Elizabeth Gilbert. I don't actually have a copy of this book, but here it is. Why I would recommend this nonfiction book about creativity to Jo March is because she is an aspiring writer and she has such a fantastic creative mind, a creative imagination, and this nonfiction book all about having a creative career and following your creative passions, I think Jo would just get so much out of what Elizabeth Gilbert talks about in this book. When I read it, I found it incredibly inspiring and helpful and it just was really invigorating and it made me want to write, it made me want to paint, it made me want to create and I think that Jo would have the same exact reaction and effect by the book. Um, so yeah, I really think that Jo March would just love the inspiration that Elizabeth Gilbert captures in this nonfiction about following your creative dreams. The next character that I'll be recommending a book to is Atticus Finch from To Kill a Mockingbird. He's just such a wise character and a wonderful father figure. The book that I would recommend to Atticus Finch, and I really think that he would love it, is Tuesdays with Maury by Mitch Albom. This is a nonfiction book about Mitch Albom visiting an old professor of his who is unfortunately suffering from ALS and is slowly greeting his death. This book is all about lessons on life and it's about Maury's advice to Mitch and how they're talking about different aspects of life, love, marriage, family, friendships, um, just literally anything. They, they talk about so much about life in this book and they cover so many different topics where they're spoken in such a beautiful way. They give you a new insight into certain things about humanity and how to live your life and um, I really just feel like the advice spoken in this book and the advice that Maury gives to Mitch, I feel like Atticus would really love and um, take heart in and 
really appreciate and even maybe pass on to his children. This is one of my favorite books. I read it years and years and years ago, and I feel like it's everything that Atticus Finch would love. The next character that I am going to be recommending a book to is Jay Gatsby from The Great Gatsby. This was quite a challenging one, and I think I have a pretty good, I have a pretty good book recommendation for him, and that is Normal People by Sally Rooney. So Jay, obviously, he has some things that he needs to sort out with the way that he views relationships. Um, so basically, he had a summer fling with a girl, and then they kind of went separate ways. He's desperate for her attention, and he doesn't really get it in the way that he wants to. I feel like it's kind of represented in normal people. The concept of Connell and Marianne um, like finding each other and then going their separate ways and always coming back together, they always end up finding themselves crossing paths again. I feel like Jay would really appreciate that and I think he is quite a romantic, like he throws these elaborate parties just to get the attention of one girl. I think that he would really enjoy the very realistic romance that takes place in normal people as well as the concept of these two characters, these two people coming together and then going their separate ways and coming together again and always finding themselves gravitating towards each other, which I feel like he could relate to with his relationship with Daisy. Let me know if you agree on this one or if you have any other recommendations. The next character that I will be recommending a book to is Jane Eyre from Jane Eyre. <laughs> so the book that I'll be recommending to Jane is Foster by Claire Keegan. So Jane is an orphan and trying to figure out where to go, what to do. She's not treated very well in her home with her aunt and her cousins. She ends up leaving her home and going to act as a governess for um, someone else. I won't say too much in case you haven't read Jane Eyre. It's one of my favorite books ever. It's the classic that got me into reading classics. But anyway, I think that Jane would really love Foster because Foster is about a young, very quiet girl in Ireland. Um, and it's about how she is also not treated very well by her family and she goes to stay with somewhat distant relatives. And these relatives take very good care of her and she has this very wonderful connection that she's never really felt and she has like a sense of home and family that she's never really felt before and I feel like Jane would just love this book because it's quiet and beautiful and scenic it's just so powerful and I think that Jane could really relate to what the main character is going through as a young girl because Jane of course has gone through many things as a young girl herself and this is a, a book that I read recently that I absolutely adored. Cannot recommend this book to you enough, but I especially recommend it to Jane. The next character that I will be recommending a book to is Heathcliff from Wuthering Heights. I am recommending The Count of Monte Cristo to Heathcliff. Why? Because I think he would revel in the drama. I think he would love <laughs> how Edmund Dantes takes revenge. Um, so basically, Heathcliff is a very dramatic, problematic character who is very angsty, wants, re wants revenge on certain people in his life for taking his love away from him. And that is really reflected in The Count of Monte Cristo. There's just so much melodrama and pettiness <laughs> in this book. I think it's brilliantly done and it's very much understandable that this main character Edmund wants to take the revenge that he does because very very sad and terrible things happen to him but I just think Heathcliff would love the drama that concept of getting revenge on your enemies and I just think he would love it I just really do think he would love it um, so that's why I am recommending it to him um, I recently finished this and read this with Emma. We did have our discussion about it, so if you missed that, it is over on Emma's channel. I can also link it in the cards in the corner. Um, so yes, loved this book so much. It's such an incredible read, and I really do think Heathcliff would love the drama. The next character that I'll be recommending a book to is Edmund Dantes or The Count of Monte Cristo from The Count of Monte Cristo. I will give you one guess as to what book I will be recommending to him. If you said Wuthering Heights, you are correct. I think as Heathcliff would love the drama in The Count of Monte Cristo, I think The Count of Monte Cristo would love the drama 
in Wuthering Heights. The drama, the agony, the the moors, the darkness, the gloom. I think that he, I really do think he would love it. And again, I just feel like the concept of losing the person that you love and not being able to to go on and the drama and the angst and everything. I think that Edmund would really, really love. The next character I'll be recommending a book to is Konstantin Dmitrievich Levin from Anna Karenina, my very favorite character. So the books, the books, not one, but two, and many books I would recommend to Levin, but the two that came to mind right away, and the ones that I feel like I would love to discuss with Levin are Landmarks by Robert McFarlane and Stargazing by Swapna Krishna. Why I chose two nonfiction books surrounding nature and outer space is because Levin is a lover of nature. He will never stop talking to you about how much he loves mowing grass and scything through fields and just being among nature. In Anna he is seen reading many agricultural books, even writing about agriculture, and I feel like he would just love some good nature books. So I would recommend some of my favorite nature books to him, and two of them are these. So the first one is Landmarks by Robert McFarlane. Landmarks is all about different things in nature, and he defines things, and he gives things names, and this is how I learned about the names of different things that you don't even think about. So one of my favorites is an overstory. So an overstory is when you're under a bunch of trees, and you look up, and you see the canopy that is made by the very tops of the leaves. So that is called an overstory, and that's what I learned from Landmarks. And Robert McFarlane, he just writes about nature in a way that is so incredibly beautiful that I think Levin would really love and enjoy. And I think you would love and enjoy if you want to get more into nature nonfiction. And then the other book is Stargazing. This is a little pocket nature book all about understanding the cosmos, understanding the stars and the constellations, and naming them, the stories behind the constellations, and just how wonderful and beautiful outer space is and the stars are, and understanding what you see at night. Which again, I think Levin would just really love like I could picture him standing in his fields, looking up at the stars and going, ah yes, Ursa Major. Okay, where is Ursa Major? And looking for the constellations as he reads about them in this book. I just feel like that is so Levin. The next character that I'll be recommending a book to is Elio Perlman from Call Me By Your Name. I love Call Me By Your Name. It's one of my favorite books, and I really love Elio's character. The book that I would recommend to him is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. Elio, one summer, ends up having feelings for a graduate student who is staying with him and his family called Oliver, and it's about both of them coming together and having these feelings for one another and really grappling with their emotions and their feelings for each other. And I think that Elio would love love, love, love this retelling of Achilles and Patroclus, or Patroclus? I never know how to say his name. Patroclus or Patroclus. But I really think that he would just love this retelling and this take on their story. It's tragic and beautiful, and also I feel like it has a similar vibe to Call Me By Your Name. The architecture, the art, the beauty. Antiquity does play a role in Call Me By Your Name, as well as classical stories. It's beautiful, it's lyrical, um, it feels almost like music. Like, there are certain books that I read, that I've read, and they just feel poetic and beautiful, and I think that that's how I felt when reading Call Me By Your Name, and that's how I felt when reading The Song of Achilles, and I just think there's so much in this book that Elio would relate to and love and just get so much out of. So yes, I think that this, honestly, I'm very, I'm very confident in this recommendation. I do really think if Elio was a real person, he would love this book. The next character that I'll be recommending a book to is Dr. Victor Frankenstein from Frankenstein. I will never stop comparing these two books with each other. <laughs> and the book that I would be recommending to him is The Heart of a Dog by Mikhail Bulgakov. So, this book I just think is so perfect because obviously Dr. Frankenstein makes a monster out of these different body parts and he tries to create life out of death 
and that is exactly what happens in this book. This doctor and professor take the pituitary gland and the testicles of a man and a dog and they combine them and they create this like dog man that runs havoc. And I think that Dr. Frankenstein would just eat up every single page of this book. If I met Dr. Frankenstein in real life, I think I would just run in the other direction. But if he asked for a book recommendation, I would just have the impulse to recommend him this book in particular. <laughs> um, I always compare this book to Frankenstein because I just think that they have very similar concepts and vibes and I think it's fantastic. I love this story so much. I kind of don't want to recommend him this book, but I also kind of want to see what he thinks about it. All right, well, these are all of the books that I would recommend to those characters. If you guys like this concept, maybe there are some other characters that you would like me to recommend books to so I can do another version of this video with new characters and new books. So let me know what books you would recommend to these characters. Let me know if there are any other characters you would want me to recommend books to. I recommend all of these books not only to these characters but also to you. So thank you so much for always being here and being so lovely and wonderful. I hope again you enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon in another one. As always, happy reading.